always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A yellow sun. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A yellow house. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a yellow flower. That's right! What's this one? That's a yellow wiggle bug. <laughs> Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a yellow sun. A yellow house, a yellow flower, and a yellow wiggle bug. What do they all have in common? They're all yellow. That's right. Today, I'm only painting yellow things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make yellow our special color of the day. Crunching leaves, but only yellow leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which pencil is yellow? There it is! Yellow pencil. Which kite is yellow? There it is! Yellow kite. Which hat is yellow? There it is! Yellow hat. Which flower is yellow? There it is! 
yellow flower. Very good. Beautiful colors, like the color yellow. Yellow here and there, I see it everywhere. Yellow all around, in the sky and on the ground. It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, Where is Lulu? When it's time to go to the library, Lulu tries to hide. I wonder why. Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Where is Lulu? Written by Mahale Mashigo, illustrated by Clyde Beach, designed by Nikosinga Field Mazibuko. Lulu, it's time to go, calls Ma. Oh, no. Where is Lulu? Is she under the sofa? Is she behind the curtain? <laughs> She's under the lamp! Where is Lulu? Is she next to the stove? Is she in the cupboard? <laughs> She's on the shelf! Lulu, it's time to go. Where are you, calls Ma. <laughs> She's <laughs> under the bed! There you are. I don't want to go. We have to go, says Ma. But I really like this one. I really like this one, too. And this one. And this one. And this one. See, when you return books, you can borrow more. Yay! Where is Lulu now? <laughs> Holding her books! <laughs> that's right! And that's the end of the story. Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog! Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! Let's sing a counting song about potatoes! Potatoes? Yes, potatoes! It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! Let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun. That was wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Frog. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Letter Safari. Let's 
find some beginning letter sounds. Oh, look! A tree! Listen! T-t-tree! T-t-tree! Do you hear that? Tree begins with T. T-t-tree! Hi, monkey. Mm. Listen. Mm, mm, monkey. Mm, mm, monkey. <laughs> what letter makes the beginning sound in monkey? Mm. M. M. That's right. <laughs> Monkey's name begins with M. Mm, mm, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey has a coconut. Listen. K -k coconut. K -k coconut. What letter do you hear? C. <laughs> cool. <laughs> See a radio. Listen. R r radio. R r radio. What letter do you hear? R. Right. <laughs> Let's listen to the beginning letters again. T -t -t Tree. What's that letter? T. Mm, mm, mm. Monkey. <laughs> What's that letter? Huh? M. <laughs> k -k Coconut. What's that letter? C. R -r Radio. What's that letter? R! Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me. T! Pig, have you seen Mr. Goose? Yes, I have. He's drinking juice. Mm -hmm. Hey, Goose, Juice. <laughs> Those words end with the same sound. Did you hear that? Goose, Juice. You're right. They do end in the same sound. That means they rhyme. Here's more words that rhyme. This is a goat standing in a boat. <laughs> That's so silly. Goat, boat. They rhyme. Here's a house. That's a home for a mouse. House, mouse. They rhyme. Look at this sink. It's the color pink. Sink, pink, they rhyme. You're good at this. Here's one more. What did Mr. Frog bake? It looks like a cake. 
That's right. Bake, cake, they rhyme. <laughs> that was fun. And now we're done. Pig, you made a rhyme. Fun, done. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go make more rhymes. Yeah. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush a bye, don't you cry. Go to sleep, my little baby. When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses, blacks and Dappled and grays Dancing through the sky When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses Little horses